and welcome. I'm Michelle Merchant Johnson with Love Life Coaching, and I'm here today with a guest expert, Matt Schaefer from mattschaefer.com. Welcome, Matt. Hi, so nice to be here, Michelle. So great to have you. And I just want to ask you two questions today, just to get a little taste of you and your work, and then we're going to invite the listeners to a full-length interview from you and a great event. So, Matt, what is one thing that you commonly see in women that prevents them from having the love or relationship that they desire? Honestly, the thing that I, it's sort of, and it's so, this is a little bit of a a little side answer, but I feel that one of the biggest things that blocks women from creating sort of relationship that they want is, is attachment to creating the relationship that they want. (laughs) It is outcome dependence. It's looking at every man that they connect with and that they interact with and saying, okay, you're the guy. Well, let's, let's take a, let's, let's take a step back, right? Let's take a step back from that. And if you can release outcome dependence, if you can release the need for this man to be the guy and instead look at him and evaluate him against who you understand yourself to be and the relationship that you recognize yourself to be worthy of, your vision, your values, and then experience in a sense of presence and connection, the man before you, right? And and really like evaluate him from that space, you're going to get to make a discerning decision as to whether or not he's this kind of man that you want to be in partnership with, right? So it's really releasing that outcome dependence, releasing that fear and that scarcity that there may not be uh, a better man out there and just be grounded in who you know yourself to be and what your worth is and be willing to release, you know, a man who doesn't ma- match or meet up to, you know, the kind of relationship that you want for yourself. So that's, I think that's very, I think that's such a huge thing is that that attachment and that out- outcome dependence on one individual, every individual connection with a man will oftentimes slow up or stop a woman's progression towards the man of her dreams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so true and so profound. And you may have kind of already answered my second question, but I'll ask it just to see if there's anything you want to add. What is one thing that a woman can do right now to begin to move toward having that relationship she dreams of? Well, you know, it's releasing that outcome dependence. And instead, if you're going to be attached to anything, be attached to a, uh, a really steadfast intention to have fun to enjoy the process of experiencing and dancing with men, right? Like if you're at a, at a dance, you know, at some samba night, you don't weep when your dance with one man ends, right? Because you're like, well, that's the only man I'm ever going to dance with at this salsa night. No, (laughs) there will be more men, right? And your job isn't to attach to one individual dance, but rather to enjoy the experience of moving with a man and, and seeing what he brings and how he can lead and you can follow and appreciate that experience and then lovingly release it because you know and recognize that another one is coming, right? So if you can really just start to experience dating and relationship as a dance, right? Where you get to practice being in your feminine and experiencing him in his masculine and asking, you know, what can I gain? What can I gain from this? What value can I gain from this experience without it needing to be the seminal experience of my life? Right. And I think that's a huge thing. And just have fun with it. Trust the process. Right. And, uh, and release, release the need to dictate the timing of meeting Mr. Right and doing all these things. And it'll just make dating and relationships so much more fun and, and it help get you the kind of relationship you want much faster. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you brought that up because I do think for a lot of women, especially when they're out there and I've been going through the ups and downs of dating, there can become this heaviness. They can start having this heaviness or an attachment around the outcome or just a heaviness around dating in general. And it's a good reminder that love, dating, romance, yes, it's important who you end up with, but this is all supposed to be fun, right? We forget that sometimes. (laughs) Yeah, women do. And trust me, and when, and when a man goes out on to a date with a woman and she feels heavy and she feels urgent, right? And she feels like she's, and, and he feels like she's evaluating him against her timeline for achieving X result, whether it be marriage or baby or settling or whatever. A man feels like he's put in a box which is the exact opposite of what men are craving from women in relationship, which is to be set free experientially through their connection to that woman. So don't make, don't turn a date into a job interview, 
right? That is not what you want a date or a connection with a man to turn into like the evaluation to fill a position. You know what I'm saying? That is not the sort of vibes <laughs> that we're looking to create with men. And it's not going to create the polarity and, tra- and attraction that I know you're looking to create with men that, with men that you like. Yeah. Thank you so much, Matt, for sharing this. And ladies, you have to t- click on the link below this video to tune in for Matt's full length interview. We had a fantastic conversation and there are so many gems in there that can literally change the trajectory of your love life. So you have to tune in for the full event. You'll hear from Matt and other experts and the link is right below this video that you're watching. So thank you so much, Matt. And thank you, everyone. We look forward to seeing you on the Ready for the Right Guy event. Bye for now. Bye.